In this video, I am basically going to be talking about the quantitative reasoning side of GRE. What are the challenges that you are going to face and how should you go forward to get 170 out of 170 in the quantitative reasoning side. Let's not forget we are Indians. And if you were to look at the education system of India, the emphasis of mathematics in the school is quite high. So the net impact of it is if you were to come from the background of mathematics and you were to pick up a GRE test paper from the section of quantitative reasoning or QR reasoning as it said, you would in the first look find the paper to be quite simple. And that's a fact as well. For someone who is decently good in mathematics, a score of about 155 to 160 in the QR section is not a challenge. But there is one very important point of caution that you need to remember. If you are a person who is aspiring to get into a good college in US or in other countries where GRE is asked for, the challenge is you need to get a very good score in the QR section because majority of the Indians get very good scores. So if you are a person writing GRE and not getting 165 out of 170, that would be a sin. So what are the challenges and why is that Indian students who are good in mathematics end up getting less score in the GRE QR section? There are two very important reasons for that. One, the paper of GRE is tricky. If you were to look at the questions, when you are not under pressure, you will find these questions to be simple. But when you are writing your GRE, you are going to be under pressure. Quite a few questions are quite lengthy. You need to read it. You need to comprehend it. Then you need to convert that into equations. And yes, once you write into equations, our strength comes into picture. And yes, we can solve it. But quite a few students end up making a mistake in converting what has been given in words into equation. The second challenge and the reason why Indians mess up is simply because they are not able to complete the paper. Their speed becomes important. Do we know how to solve questions? Answer is yes. But most of us tend to use traditional methods and these traditional methods are going to involve more time. So what happens is when a student is solving in the test condition, initial questions end up taking more time. Thus, a student ends up rushing to complete the paper towards the end, thus ending up making mistakes. And that is one of the reasons why Indians end up getting less marks, especially because of the mistakes that they commit towards the end of the paper. Now, if you can overcome these challenges, believe me, you will be able to score well. And if you can do a bit of more practice, then 170 out of 170 is not a tough thing. For us, that's a big advantage because most of the top colleges give more weightage to the quantitative reasoning side. Then you may ask, why is verbal reasoning important? As I did say, because majority of the Indians tend to get very good scores in quantitative reasoning, the differentiation that happens is on verbal side. And that is the reason you need to do well, not just in the quantitative reasoning, but in the verbal reasoning as well. So how do you get a good score in the quantitative reasoning? Two very important things. Number one, practice simply because you need to get used to the pattern of the questions that are given in GRE, which as I said, can be lengthy to read. And the second thing is the special type of questions that are asked, especially the data comparison, which can actually fool you. The second step in this process is to see to it that you learn methods which are faster. Quite a few of these questions can be actually done mentally. Remember, GRE is not testing your computational speed. In fact, they are giving you a calculator. What GRE is testing is, can you use logic to solve these questions? And as I said before, because majority of the students tend to go by the first principle, that is the conventional method of solving, they are able to get the answer, but they end up spending more time. And because of that, towards the end, they have more questions, limited amount of time, they rush, and guess what? Silly mistakes happen. Now, what we do in Contura Online is very simple. We go step by step, but more importantly, when we give you the questions, we help you understand it in model form. What are these modeling all about? This modeling is all about you understanding if a particular question comes from a particular model, you need to use 
the fast methods of computation as well as solving to solve those questions fast and get them right as well. So in the Contour Online platform, step by step, we teach you faster methods of solving. More importantly, as I said earlier, practice is very important. So quite a few practice questions are provided, which basically talk about different models that you get that could include multiple choice, single blank answer, multiple choice, multi answer, as well as data comparison. And yes, this practice helps you master the strategies that you can use to get these question type right. So if you can handle two things, one, the speed, second, the methodology used, especially for the trickier questions of data comparison, believe me, getting 165 is not tough and 170 is a possibility. At Condura Online Platform, we don't just give you those in videos as well as in question format. We also conduct live classes where we discuss these strategies. And most of these sessions are taken by experts who themselves have 170 out of 170 in quant. Our attempt is to see to it that you get the right exposure, right practice, so that you get the right experience to get the right score in the quantitative reasoning of GRE.